Parents say they are sick and tired of their daughter getting bullied. They claim administration at IDEA San Benito are not doing enough to stop their daughter from being victimized. Manuel Morales' daughter dreads going to school. The eight-year-old was hurt last year when she was a first grader at IDEA San Benito, but her injuries didn't occur on the playground. She was allegedly hurt by a bully, a student in her class. He twisted her arm and then he pushed her against the wall, and when he pushed her against the wall, she fractured her elbow. The young girl was in a cast for eight weeks, and the alleged bully suspended for only three days, according to Morales. He claims the same boy is harassing his daughter all over again and it's more than just physical. That's why the little girl is now in behavioral therapy. Her words to the therapist was that she didn't feel safe there and that she didn't feel like the, the school cared about her and those were her words because she said that they didn't do anything to him last year. Uh, and why would they do anything to him this year? Wanting to provide a safe learning environment for his child, Morales thought of pulling her from the school, but the behavioral counselors recommended otherwise. Morales' wife had to take a leave of absence from work to attend classes with their daughter, but the lack of a second paycheck is taking a toll on their family. It's been very difficult because now we're wondering um, what, what we're going to have to cut and what we're going to have to do as a family uh, to, to sacrifice uh, so my wife can attend school with my daughter. The desperate father says he's pleaded with the principal and other administrators at IDEA schools since 2011 to do something to stop the alleged bullying his daughter is enduring. But Morales says no real action has been taken. He eventually did report the incident to San Benito police. However, they aren't able to charge the boy because he's under 10 years of age. Now, IDEA San Benito would not comment on the case because of privacy issues, but they did provide us this statement which reads, IDEA administration met with the families involved several weeks ago, and after a completed investigation, no basis for the bullying allegations were found. We take bullying very seriously and investigate all matters. Of course, Manuel Morales says that's not enough. He says they are thinking of taking legal action. His goal is to put an end to bullying before anyone really gets hurt. In the studio, I'm Astrid Martinez. Action 4 News.